Well, St. Francis hopes to do something that has not that it hasn't done in 30 years. And that's to make the NCAA tournament with one of their stars looking to finish a comeback story for the ages. Our Jack Washer is live at Robert Morris with that story. Hey, Jack. <laughs> All right, yeah, Amanda and John. St. Francis actually possesses the last two NEC players of the year. Now, their journey to SFU is pretty similar, but one big difference makes this year's recipients stand out. Sometimes it's the journey, not the final destination, that defines a player. His mental toughness, in terms of anybody that's played here, I'll put him up against anybody's mental toughness. Growing up in Charlotte, North Carolina, Isaiah Blackman had his sights set on college, the youngest of eight. Blackman shined on the court, except no colleges seemed to notice. It was definitely hard. Um, spirits were down. No Division I school offered him until late, a tiny school in Loretto, Pennsylvania. He was sitting up in the office. He said, so Isaiah, what do you, he gave the spill. He gave the spill that he gives everybody. I was like, Coach, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm coming here. I'm, there's no other place that, that I'd rather be. Blackman set out to prove his doubters wrong and thrived until one day, his freshman season. We playing Bryant here. I was going up, going up for a rebound, and I'm, I'm up there. Like this is freshman year, Isaiah. Like super athletic, <laughs> so I'm up there and I have it in my hand, and I'm coming down and I just land like this and it just snaps. I couldn't even move, I couldn't even get up. Blackman tore his ACL. It was a whole new challenge for me. I, it was, there were points where I felt like, like you know, I'm done, I'm about to go home and just to get a job or something. Instead, he rehabbed and recovered. Blackman returned to the court. Then two years later, deja vu. When I went down, I heard a snap again. My leg just like shot inward. And I felt it, I was like, dang, I started crying. I, I just, I couldn't help it. I, I started crying because I already knew what had happened. I knew my season was over only three games in. Blackman tore his other ACL as doubt started to creep in. This is my second time tearing my leg. Like, is this it for me or, or should I keep pushing? Somehow, someway, Blackman found his way back to the court, taking his game to new heights earning NEC Player of the Year this season. I got back to my room. I was, I, 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 I started to cry a little bit. It was just to know that I had accomplished something that I had want to, wanted to accomplish for a long time. Blackman's final destination in Loretto approaches, but it's his journey that's defined him. To see him come out of it and with a smile on his face and all of the challenges that he faced, not only physically, but emotionally and mentally, Credit to him and his character, his perseverance, his work ethic, and it's a special story. And that final step of the journey could happen right here at Robert Morris University. As like you guys said, St. Francis looking to make their first NCAA tournament appearance in 30 years. Coming up in sports, we'll have more on that other NEC Player of the Year, Keith Braxton, plus some Penn State stuff. For now, live at Robert Morris University, I'm Jack Washer for WTA Sports.